Considering the title of this video and the fact that I am filming it in front of a wall of Bamboo Labs 3D printers, it would be fair for some people to be already warming up the comments to point out the disconnect here. But let me explain. Around this time of year, people take to the internet to ask one age-old question, what 3D printer should I buy? Not, not actually an age-old question, but you get my point. The thing is, there is usually a stock response that people just automatically reply with, and that's a bit of a problem. Because the answer for what 3D printer is right is going to be different for the little old granny who's buying a 3D printer for my grandchildren. They're five and seven and they just love this 3D printing thing. Versus, you know, the 45 year old who is having a midlife crisis, but a Ferrari is just way outside of their price range. Is that what this channel is? We are living in an amazing day and age where there are so many options for 3D printers that we, we really, it's not one size fits all, it's we can tailor a solution to each person. And admittedly, that has been true in the past and it will be true in the future. But in this moment, I want to take this video and go through a couple of these scenarios, talk about the sort of people who might be interested in finding out what 3D printer they should get and talk about what 3D printer would be right for them. Not to bury the lead, the point of this video is to encourage you, the next time somebody asks you what 3D printer should I buy, to stop and ask for some more context, some more information about who they are and who they're buying the 3D printer for so that you can provide the right solution, not just a solution that was right for you. This video is brought to you by Cute Cthulhu and Friends, my collectible mini figures, which you can get right now on Etsy. There will be a link in the description where you can check those out. So let's start with that little old granny who was buying a 3D printer for her grandchildren who were excited about 3D printing. Is she going to be the one to teach them how to use it? Probably not. Is there going to be somebody there who will teach her how to use it? Possibly, but it would be good if we could have an option that was turnkey as can be, something that they could just open up the box, use, and continue to use without having to worry much about the technicalities of running a 3D printer. And fortunately, an option does exist. I really like the toy box line of 3D printers. Now, admittedly, their 3D printers aren't the fanciest, but they get the job done and their app is so easy to use. Plus, Toybox has put a lot of effort into making their printers as easy to set up as possible with step-by-step -step instructions so that anybody can follow along. Granted, it takes a little bit of time to set up the first time, but once you're done with that, it runs like butter and your kids will be printing tons and tons of really cool stuff. But let's say that the target for these 3D printers are a little bit older, maybe pre-teens, maybe young teens. Kids who might one day grow into a better and bigger 3D printer, a real 3D printer if you will, there actually is an option that kind of bridges that gap between super easy to use now but functional later, and that would be the AOC X Maker. I don't love the X Maker Joy, but the regular X Maker has their platform, has a ton of cool projects that once you get going on it, it won't take any extra effort to get going. But then eventually, as you go online and start finding their other 3D models, they've got a regular full featured slicer also on there. It behaves and operates just like a full size 3D printer. So you might wanna consider that one. Now, what if your target recipient is a college student or maybe late high school and they want a real 3D printer? You might think at this point, well, this is where we're going to start recommending Bamboo Labs 3D printers, and you'd be right. However, keep in mind that most of these people can't afford the high-end Bamboo Labs 3D printers, so we're going to start recommending to them the A1 or A1 Mini, right? Well, for the same amount of money as you can get an A1 or an A1 Mini, you could also get a Creality K1 or, my personal pick, the Flash Forge Adventure 5M or M Pro. These are full-size, full-featured 3D printers with an XY movement system that isn't slinging the print back and forth, degrading your quality as they get taller. I really, really like these options. So if you're considering a budget Bamboo Labs 3D printer, you may also want to consider a full-size Creality or, again, my preference, Flathforge 3D printer for them. 
But there is one feature that Bamboo Labs does, in my opinion, better than anybody else, and that is making multicolor 3D prints. So if you're an artist or somebody who, for any reason, is going to want to have prints that pop off the print bed looking like no other because of the multicolor that are attached to them, well then, pretty much at this point, at this moment, the only place to go, in my opinion, is Bamboo Labs. And I would recommend, if you could get the Carbon X1, do so. It is worth the price, but the P1S is pretty good, especially if you can afford to do some upgrades to it. Now, what if they say, I don't care about budget. This is going to be an industrial 3D printer, and I need it to make impressive prototypes. I mean, if I had that sort of budget and that sort of requirement, Heck, I just want it anyways. I would look into the Mimikai lines of 3D printers. These are amazing 3D printers that I just drool every time I look at and then faint every time I look at the price tag. But if they can afford it, well, that's the printer that I'd recommend in that case. But what if it turns out that the person asking doesn't really care about what they're going to be 3D printing. They just want a hobby, something that they can tear down, modify, make their own, get that pride of making in the machine itself. Well, for those people, I might recommend Sovol 6, a solid machine, but also a solid base for modifying. What really solidified this choice for me was seeing Anne Reardon, a food scientist who's a very smart woman, took an SV06 and modified it to extrude Nutella with time-lapse stop-motion assembly videos. This woman goes the extra mile. So there we go, a couple of different scenarios and a couple of different suggestions for what 3D printer I might suggest in those situations. And while I do think that the majority of people who are asking will be more than satisfied with the offering that Bamboo Labs is offering, and I would be thrilled to see more Bamboo Labs 3D printers in the wild, let's ask a few questions and make sure that we're giving the right suggestions to people before we just blanket assume what they want. But that's it for this video. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I want to remind you that you are a child of God, so you're special. So take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too. We all need each other. I'll see you next time.